All right, guys, welcome back to another Dragon Ball discussion. Today, we're talking about fusion again. I recently did a video going over and explained the Patara fusion retcon in Dragon Ball Diamond episode one. So make sure you guys go and check that one out. That being said, uh, fusion is once again getting a lot of love in regards to the fandom reacting to information, thus feeling like it's worth talking about. Dragon Ball Diamond episode four didn't really hit us with anything new, so to speak. But if anything, They've just added additional methods for characters to utilize things that we already know about. So for example, the, the Demon Realm's take on Senzu beans are basically bugs that you can eat that restore your stamina. Now the subtitles mention stamina, but this is like a general term that's being used to explain strength, etc. as well. And we know that this is the case because an immediate comparison to Senzu beans is made in the episode. We also got another batch of bugs you can eat. Uh, this one is a reference to fusion. More so Portara than anything else in my opinion. When you consider the ease of use, etc., uh, it aligns more with Potara than anything else. Uh, but just to clarify, I'm not saying that the bugs represent only Potara fusion, because the obvious conclusion that Goku makes from hearing about these bugs is that it's fusion in general. Now, personally, I don't feel like this video needs to be insanely long, so I'll give you guys my thoughts on this real quick. So, there are a couple of ways they can go, they can go about this, right? First, I think it's worth mentioning that even though the episode says feeding two halves to two people is what will allow them to fuse temporarily, if you look at this image here, the bugs are coiled up, kind of like a pill bug. If, if you don't know what they are, then it doesn't matter, but if you know, you know. Uh, the actual visual representation of this is like an earring. So the area of where like the bug's uh, mouth is would be could act like a clasp, like an earring clasp. Uh, one coiled up bug latch onto your ear and then the same for the other person and it would be no different than like a potara earring with the exception of a time limit being applied to it i think this would be cool if like the original because the original explanation talks about uh feeding two halves to two people but it'd be funny if like goku just says oh it looks like an earring and then like someone else does it and then they fuse together and then that's how you get like the potara thing um i think that'd be like an interesting like a pleasant surprise that people would react uh positively to but that's just my that's just me like spitballing, right? It doesn't have to be the case. Uh, but but to my understanding, uh, no actual time frame was given in the actual episode regarding the fusion. But if we take what was said, that being a short while, and just equating that to like temporarily, uh, then we can just assume it will be for like 30 minutes at the very least until we get like further confirmation. Uh, another thing they can do with this time frame is simply take what was done in Dragon Ball Super and make the join bug effect last for an hour. This wouldn't really change much considering you can still burn through the fusion anyway, but given the fact that Goku and company have been turned to kids, it could maybe give them some more wiggle room to work with when it comes to the time limit. Another route they can take is to introduce a new fusion entirely, because Vegito is exclusive to Potara fusion, whereas Gogeta is exclusive to Metamorphic fusion or fusion dance, whatever you want to call it. Now, I'm not saying that Vegito and Gogeta are the only possibilities. I'm just using them as an example because I'm almost positive the first thing people thought when they saw this interaction in episode four was Vegito or Gogeta, because that's exactly what I thought. Uh, and to any of you familiar with the God Broly movie, Goku does the fusion dance, but he does it with the audience. Thus giving birth not to Gogeta, but a fusion that is mostly still Goku. I think it was called like um, uh, God Fusion Goku or something like that. But it was used as, basically it was used as a means of conveying a new Goku for a new movie. So my point, the reason I brought this up is because my point, the point that I'm trying to illustrate to you guys is that considering that this is a new fusion method, even though it's still the closest thing to Patara Fusion, if they're smart about it, I think they'll introduce a new fusion character exclusive not only to this fusion method, but exclusive to Dragon Ball Diamond. That's the bigger picture here. At least for me. Uh, which at this point, even if we agree the nostalgia bait in Daima has been good because of how well drawn those events were portrayed in the episodes, I think nostalgia can only take you so far. For example, the superhero movie was a good example of what not to do for nostalgia bait. That being said, I think adding more Dragon Ball Daima exclusive events would be the best way to convey to not only like the fans of Dragon Ball, but people who are skeptical of the series that Dragon Ball Daima is in fact trying to be its own thing, um, without heavily relying on things that have been established over the years from connecting with Dragon Ball. So basically, let Daima do its own thing and be its own thing, its own thing without relying too much on nostalgia. Right? I, I, let me know if you guys agree with that in the comment section, or if you guys feel like they should just hammer nostalgia nonstop. I'm personally tired of it. Um, this is yet another arc that is basically a byproduct of the Buu Saga. They could also just go with Vegito or Gogeta, um, and I'm sure people will still love it, considering there hasn't been a kid Vegito 
or Kid Gogeta debut yet. So technically that would be new, quote unquote, but I think that's just copium at that point. Now with my criticism of Daima as a concept aside, I still believe Daima should aim to do its own thing and offer new things for people to enjoy. That being said, for all we know, Goku and Glory Hole uh, confused together. And I, I doubt it though, because the concept of sensing key is new to Glorio, so it could possibly weaken the fusion uh, in that regard, but it's possible considering Glorio is believed by Goku to be stronger than the Supreme Kai, which to be honest isn't saying much, but whatever, they could do something with that. If I had to predict when we will see fusion, I'd probably say around the time Goku and company come face to face with the Tamagami. Obviously, I believe Goku will want to fight them one on one at first, which is obviously in character for him, uh, but upon losing, um and by losing i mean not goku but the tamagami i feel like it's likely they fuse together they just like merge together like on some aniraza stuff uh and goku has no choice but to fuse with somebody uh the tamagami just look like the kind of characters that have a last resort mechanic i feel like at least in my opinion looking at them i just feel like they should just merge and i say this because i feel like for fusion to be like a thing you kind of need to give goku a reason to fuse to begin with and as of right now i'm thinking that's going to be the best way because right now, the Tamagami, as of episode 4, the Tamagami seem to be the obstacle that Goku aims to kind of not only go up, you know, go up against, but also the obstacle that he seems to kind of um, best, right? Now, I know some folks are talking about how it might not even be Goku who fuses with someone, and it's possible, uh, because he purchased two of the Joy Bugs, and not just one. And it's stated in the episode that by feeding two halves to two people that they would fuse. So we may see fusion twice, and maybe even two di different types of fusion. Um, I've also seen some conversation from the fandom regarding three people fusing, even though the explanation for how the joint bugs work states that it's by feeding two halves to two people, thus implying that it's meant for two people. But I imagine the concept of three people fusing came from the picture that was displayed for the joint bugs, which shows three little demon folk merging into one stronger demon folk. Personally, I just looked at that as two people uh two characters merging into one to create the new one that we see on the right but it also like showcases like two of the arms extending to the two other characters and it's just like merging into one which could also be assumed as that being the, the character on the right so i could see why people thought it meant three people um i also looked at that picture and and just assumed that i assumed that as like uh that would be like potential foreshadowing of the tamagami merging together I mean, there are three of them. There's three Dragon Balls, there's three Tamagami. It's a picture of three people merging together, you know, merging together to form one stronger being. Um, you know, not through join bugs or anything, but just in general as like a, as a as a last resort. But anyway, let me know what you guys think about this. For me, I think it would be a mistake to not have Vegeta or Gogeta or just a new Demon Realm fusion for Goku and Vegeta. Uh, because Goku and Vegeta fusing is just too exciting and too hype to pass up. I'd prefer a new fusion for them though, but again, Goku did buy two of those bugs, so even if we only end up seeing Vegito, for example, it's still very possible for Supreme Kai and Glorio to fuse, for example, or maybe we get Kabito Shin again as kids and they fight for a bit, but, well, I, at least on the topic of Kabito Shin, I think he still has his Potara on, right? So if Kabito, if, if, if the Supreme Kai wanted to fuse with Potara, um, he still technically could. They have the Potara, unless the actual Demon Realm and the air in the Demon Realm just negates the Potara magic, kind of like the air in Boo's body. Um, I now that I think about the air in Boo's body, I wish they would have like further elaborated on the actual air in the Demon Realm by maybe making a reference to like, oh, it felt similar to when we were inside Boo's body. Like, like if the Supreme Kai said something like that, then we would just assume that Potara fusion wouldn't work. Therefore, it would only lead us to believe that. The only way you can get Vegito is through the Join Bugs, or it would just confirm that we're getting like a flat out new fusion in general, right? I think that's something they potentially kind of dropped the ball on. But again, hindsight is 2020. But again, anything could happen. But I think it's also important to remember that this is Dragon Ball, so we should probably keep our expectations low. So that way, if they do something better to surpass those expectations, it just ends up feeling that much better. But anyway, I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Stay safe and healthy as always. Make sure to go out and vote if you haven't already. You know, we got a country to save, boys, so let's make it happen. But until then, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you guys for listening. Till next time, peace.